how to see which keywords your competitors are getting sales from that you aren't even indexed for. Now, why is this important? How can it make you money? Well, this is like the easiest no brainer of them all, right? Your competitors, very similar product to you. They're literally getting sales from a keyword because you know they're high on page one uh, for a decent search volume keyword and you don't even have the keyword in your listing. All right, doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand how this is one of the easiest strategies of everything that we have here that can put money in your pocket. Uh, how do you go ahead and do it? Let's go ahead and hop in. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is this works on a multi-ASIN search in Cerebro. So you put your product first in Cerebro, and then you had put, you know, like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other competitors right there as well. Now, what you want to do is you are first going to hit position rank zero and zero. Position rank, what that filter is, is it means your rank, which is why you had to put your product first in this list. So if you put zero and zero for minimum and maximum, that means you're saying I am not ranked at all. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and go to the number of competitors filter. All right. Number of competitors. And you're going to go ahead and put minimum one. That's all you care about. You just want at least so, at least one person and then nothing on the max. And then you're going to go to competitor rank. And then you're going to put, uh, let's just say, minimum one, let's say maximum 10. So that means not only are your is at least one of your competitors on page one, but they are like, um, you know, at the top of page one, like I said, they're probably getting sales. Uh, I'll go ahead and put since this is the US marketplace, I'll go ahead and put a minimum search volume of of 400, you know, you can do more or less depending if anything comes up. And I mean, the goal is for if you do this, you don't want any keywords to show up, right? You know, that's the goal, like you're doing all right, if no products or if no keywords uh, show up. Now, in this particular case, only one key keyword came up, Gothic cabinet, all right? So the way that you can see if a, a keyword you have is indexed or not, you might not even have it in your listing, go ahead and take this list of keywords. Now, in this case, it's just one keyword and you're going to want to go into index checker, all right? That's the next step. So normally you might have, you know, like 10, 15 keywords. Me, I'm doing all right. So um, I only have, you know, one keyword on there, but you're gonna go ahead and paste the keywords into index checker and you're gonna put your ASIN as the ASIN and index checker that you are checking, all right? So I'm gonna copy my ASIN, I'll bring it over into index checker and then you just run index checker. And then what you want to do is see, does it say that you have indexed or not? All right. In this case, yes, I am indexed. All right. Now let's just say one of the, some of these keywords was not indexed. Well, the way to know if you are indexed or not, make sure to check the videos here in index checker and you can find out how exactly uh, to, to check if you are indexed uh, or not. But again, super simple, just a few clicks. Again, you, you, you want to see where you are not ranking at all, not even in the top seven pages, but your competitors, at least one of them is getting sales uh, from a keyword because they're in the top uh, in the top 10 positions. And then the next step, if you just want to see if maybe you're not indexed at all, is go to uh, index checker. One more quick thing. I'm not sure if I mentioned this uh, before, but uh, in another video, uh, we have match type here. All right. So I've been talking strictly about organic ranks in a lot of these videos, but Helium 10 is checking if they're uh, also in the now defunct editorial recommendations, uh, if they're showing up in a Amazon's choice widget, that's different than just the regular Amazon's choice uh, button, but in our badge, it's an Amazon's choice widget that's sponsored ads. There's a highly rated widget. There's sponsored brand header videos or sponsored brand header uh, ads and also sponsored brand video. So these are all different match types in Cerebro uh, where it'll have a little letter next to the keyword showing that, hey, this is what keywords uh, match, you know, what's the match type of this of this keyword? It'll say O or S or or other things like that. So this is also valuable. Like maybe you want to know, hey, where is my competitor showing up in the search results uh, and they've got a sponsored video ad? 
right? Hey, where's my competitor showing up in a sponsored brand ad? Hey, well, what are the keywords where my competitor is showing up for like five or six uh, or seven different things all on page one? I mean, they literally could be could be doing that. So this is a great way to look at that as well. <music>